Leroy didn't get to contribute much last year. After transferring to Sickles as a junior, he was declared academically ineligible to play football. Yeah, for him, I tried to encourage him to well, use this as a stepping stepping stone, learn from it, and uh, you know that way, you know, you can learn from uh, mistakes or disappointments that may happen in life and come out better on the other end. The Selman legacy might begin on the football field, but it certainly doesn't end there. You see, Leroy Sr.'s post-football career has been as successful as his 10 seasons with the Buccaneers. And that's been a driving force behind Leroy Jr. rededicating himself to hitting the school books as much as the playbook. The elder Selman is putting his education to good use working for the University of South Florida, setting yet another example for his son to follow. He always makes sure that I get the grades first to make that uh, my number one priority before football. And uh, he's really taught me a lot. His GPA now is right up at about a 3.0. Uh, he's uh, worked very hard. He's already qualified on the SAT for colleges. Uh, he has the score. It feels it's nice to uh, be able to say that it's paying off so that I could get these opportunities to play football at another level. But it's also good to be able to just, you know, make those kind of grades and feel good about yourself. And, and know that you can do it. The spotlight still shines on his father, but Leroy Selman Jr. has stepped out of the shadow it's cast to make a name for himself, all the while recognizing, even relishing, his family ties. His mother and I are very proud of his efforts uh, academically as well as uh, out on the football field. And, but most of all, we, we uh, are proud of him and want him to be proud of what he's accomplishing. I try to take his wisdom and uh, put it in effect every day and make sure that I'm doing things right, make sure I'm staying on top of my grades every week because that comes first and then whatever you can do with football it comes second. If you go to a Sickles game, you're bound to see Leroy Sr. acting, as he told me, like a typical parent, cheering on his son and videotaping the game for him and Leroy to critique later that night. And even though he missed most of last year, the younger Leroy's being heavily recruited by some of the best Division I AA schools and some D1 schools as well. But more importantly, TK, Leroy Selman Jr. is as humble and kind-hearted as his dad. Both are real class acts. Thanks, Rick.